doing this or? No, we can start now. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's Pleasure Explosion with your host, Dylan Blight. That is me joining you once again. I'm here, I'm alive, I'm hosting. Uh, hi, how are you? Joining me today, Ashley, how are you? That's me. I'm good. I'm very good. Ni- that's great. Nicholas, Thanks. how are you? Um, I'm covered in ectoplasm at the moment. Better than that, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Uh, that's not ectoplasm. That's, that's what tissues Whoa. are for. <laughs> um, I'd like to point out for listeners at home, but before we start recording the podcast, Nick did have clothes on, at which point Jack told him to remove his shirt. So now we are just podcasting with a shirtless Nick, and there are a few erections under tables, I'm sure. So mm, mm. how about you, Jack? Do you feel that erection? I'm firm, mate. I'm fucking firm. Pat pat. <laughs> Jono, I'm going to say that you do not feel that mm. erection. No, I don't. <laughs> 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 Shockingly, he does not. How about you, Thomas? How are you? I, I have three layers of clothing on. It I thought is you were going to say you have three erections on. <laughs> yeah. I thought of, it was going to be like three, I have three of layers of clothing on and it's still going through them all. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, before we get... <laughs> I can't really segue from all that rubbish into what I, we want to talk about very well, so we'll just... Sure? Uh, try! We'll just, just try! Just, just, just no, let's not, let's, it, not, let's not segue let's, from erections into Let's, children, not, let's segue from, from erections <laughs> to that. Oh, but, no. Uh, before, we jump into, before we jump into this week's uh, topic, which we'll get to in a little bit, we do have special dun, 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 announcements coming to you live from the Pleasure Explosion Studio. I forgot to get my rap horn. Um, app out, and because I trust Jono to get all the information out properly, I'm just going to pass it off to Jono. What are we announcing today? Well, I believe if we haven't already announced it, it's probably on Twitter. But in case you didn't see the Twitters and stuff, yeah, we're doing Extra Life, which is a 24-hour video game stream, all for sick kids. Yeah, we're literally, literally, literally raising money for a hospital called Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. They do uh, a lot of international foreign aid with uh, underdeveloped nations. So, yeah, we're going to all be getting together, hopefully, at Jack's place in just a few weeks. Oh, I guess it's uh, still, it's two months Calm away. Calm down. It's yeah. still two months It's two months yeah. away. That's a- oh, God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you had me worried for a second there. Yeah. <laughs> getting ahead of myself. But that's on the 4th of November. And there's a video out there which we'd love for you to watch and share. And like, subscribe, hit the, yeah, hit all the buttons that you can because that's got Except all the, the details. One. That's a bit... Yeah, I mean, and we're part of the cool. Kind of Funny community team, so hopefully together with our Kind of Funny best friends, we can raise, I think the target is 85000 or $100,000 this year. Awesome. One what do we get at $100,000? I feel like we get something special. We save some children? Pl- platinum trophy? Happiness. A good yeah. No, uh, there's... Plat, plat? There's something, and uh, Tim is going to taste his own cum. What? Interesting. Hmm. Now, yeah, I uh, now, now, is that a real thing that was said? Or uh, curious the fan that he did that on the, stream on Thursday it's, night. It's, yeah. been, it's been the Troy Baker at least twice Gog on was Gog. the topic. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm behind. I thought that was a joke. Nope. Um, <laughs> nope. And, we, we, get, and, we get something good and we get that because I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, really We can say that if we hit $1,000, I believe, at this point, Jack is going to get a tattoo. Damn right. Mm. I will. Bevan. If we hit $1,000, I will get the tattoo of Bevan on my body. The Explosion Network mascot. 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 Yes. Bevan. And there's Bevan. a lot of other challenges and milestones that we'll hit. We'll, we'll be doing some dumb stuff and funny stuff on the, on the stream. So Hopefully. make sure you tune in on the 4th of November. If you want to see what goals are currently available and or suggest goals, challenges to do, or games that we should play that you'd like to enjoy... ExplosionNetwork.com slash Extra Life. There is a form at the bottom of that page and off to the side there is a list of the dollar amounts necessary to reach stu- certain stupidity things. And also, of course, the handy-dandy link to donate, which you can just donate now. Yeah, it's fine. Well, start and then now. as soon as the stream starts, we're just like, hi, and then we just do like 10 stupid things in a row. And hmm. like, cool. Now let's continue raising money, I guess. I just which if thought. that happens, yeah. What if I... Uh, I- to try and guarantee Jack gets this tattoo. You donate? I yeah. could just stay home and donate $500 that would have been my flights. <laughs> <laughs> that is an option, I think we're halfway there. I mean, it's for the children, but if that's what it's you like, want to it's do. Less it. fu- it's less fun for you, <laughs> but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Considerably less fun for me. That's what you do. If we hit ten thousand dollars, I'll get whoever's the largest donator's Twitter handle tattooed on me as well. How about that? Ten thousand. If we hit ten thousand dollars, I will get a hell of a stretch goal. So if <laughs> if we 
if we hit to ten thousand dollars, whoever is the largest donator, say whoever Donut. it is, whatever their Twitter is, if it's Thanks, Donald Ash. J Trump, real Donald Trump, I don't care, uh, I will get their Twitter handle tattooed on me also. Where? So everybody tweet where? at Donald Trump. Oh, real Donald Trump. <laughs> is it? It's not real. I'm sure Donald he can Trump, find that money in his, yeah. the back of his yeah. couch. I'm pretty sure his Twitter is real Donald Trump. Yeah. It is. Yeah. 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 The, the fact that he couldn't DMT. get his own name is pretty pretty sad. He's a fuckwit. Yeah, I'm but pretty sure maybe he got his sad, but I yeah. but I'd do it maybe, for the children. <laughs> maybe he had his real name, but he just had to change it because that's how like he needs people to know like this is actually the real. That's what Donald the blue ticks. Yeah. Yeah. There's a fantastic where somebody got his name before. He <coughs> There's a fantastic. No, um, he probably got it and he just forgot the password. See <laughs> <laughs> now, cunt. There's a there's a fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, let me get this out. There's a fantastic um, Twitter out there called Nice. It's like at Nice Donald Trump, it's, mm. and it's the exact same photo of him, except it's slightly photoshopped. So inst- you know how like Donald Trump's Twitter photo is just him with like that straight, real Rumpy. straight face. Yeah, yeah. With in this Nice Donald Trump, it's the same photo, but he's it's just kind of curved the smile it, yeah. up. He's kind of just grinning. They joke it. They joke it. Gassed him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but no, but it's just it's just like it's only a very subtle smile. But he's just, and then it's like all the tweets are just it's what he should be tweeting as a president. So it's like you know, <laughs> uh, you know, on a conference call with with South Korea, um, you know, talking about aid and stuff. There's none of the the usual fucking bullshit that he tweets about. So when like a police officer dies, he's like, "Thank you for your service," you know, blah blah blah. Like I saw someone funny. the other day just photoshopped. Over all of Hillary's tweets from like the last week, and just photoshopped his pro- his picture over hers. It was just like imagine <laughs> <laughs> in a different world. Yeah. Um. Anyway, this week's topic. Uh, well, wrapping up extra life. Explosionnetwork.com slash extra life. If you've forgot or need to gather any of that information back, just head to that page. It's probably the easiest way. You can donate. You can read what's happening. Schedule all sorts of things. It's the what would, you, what would you call it? The splash page? The the, the home? Whatever. Anyway. This it is the, head, is the headquarters for all things. It's the headquarters life. for Extra Life mm-hmm. stuff at this stage. Cool. This week's topic, since I didn't really have a good way to segue, I was like, hopefully someone says something about ghosts. That would be cool. <laughs> I don't know like if we could make a Donald Trump to ghost segue, but it didn't happen, but if annoyingly. Only. If only. only. To a ghost. <laughs> if only. This week. Actually, you don't. This week, I want to talk about ghosts. Now, I was highly intrigued by ghosts this week because of this whole story that's, I don't know, we're going to cover it real quickly so people understand how I got here. There's this dude on Twitter this week, works at BuzzFeed, names Adam Adam Ellis, Ellis. Ellis, double checking, Adam Ellis, who for the last couple of weeks or whatever months, I'm not sure this stage, a a little while has been having uh, weird ghostly occurrences slowly build up uh, happening for, in his house. Um, and the full article, um, the full write-up, and if you want to read for all the, tw- the tweets, it's actually the quite a lengthy thing. Uh, speaking It'll of Twitter, the- I have done a little research, and Donald Trump appears to own at Donald Trump. Uh, and the one tweet from that account says, to follow Donald J. Trump, please visit at real Donald Trump. One tweet, 80,000 followers. So ghost That's a ghost Dylan. account. That's a ghost account if I've ever <laughs> oh. seen one. Um, Why didn't yeah, you have that information <laughs> earlier? Well, I, that I only just before. found it. Oh my God. I you. <laughs> <laughs> so this dude has, uh, if you want to read the thing, the full art, the article is in the show description, but to basically gather, he's, he has, the, he starts having like weird nightmares or dreams or something like that where he, he was dreaming about this child like sitting in a chair across the room or something like that. Creepy as fuck. Uh, creepy as fuck. And then he has like sleep paralysis at one stage where the dude visits him in his, uh, like while he's really awake or something like that, which reading that part freaked me the fuck out. Cause I've had sleep paralysis and I've had a similar thing like that happen, which we'll get to quite shortly. Mm. But, uh, then it, it get, goes up from that to other weird stuff happening. He ends up moving apartments upstairs and he reckons he loses the boy for, uh, a, a little while and then the boy finds him and his cats are like standing in front of his door at night and then he at gets the same like a Polaroid. time every night yeah at the That's same the time every <laughs> night and then uh he's like taking polaroid pictures but the polaroid picture just blacks out what's outside his doorway but everything else like in his house is colored it is fucking really creepy and I'm go straight away because everyone everyone just doesn't like nice things I feel so many comments on articles everyone's just like it's fake It's fake, it's boring, Mm. it's shit. To me, if it's real, holy shit, that is crazy shit, that's awesome. If it's fake, 
pretty this impressive. guy just this guy just wrote and put just in the effort to tell like a everyone. really really cool ghost story yeah. in um a new uh, in the new medium which is social media like he's I- slowly built up the tension mm. um and done it really fucking well so either way i'm quite impressed with this mm. story i'm kind of hoping that it'll get to the week. end of it and it'll just be like a rick roll <laughs> i want at the end of it i want a trailer for a movie that they've secretly been filming or yeah. something like that it's <laughs> a new paranormal Dear activity. david yeah <laughs> that'd be cool so i want to talk about ghosts i want to start with the first i just want to get off the uh where we all stand on ghosts straight up so i do believe in ghosts and then just let's kind of start with ash on if you do or don't I get. I'm open to the possibility. I don't strongly believe that ghosts are real. That is a bullshit answer. I said yes or no. God damn it, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> but then I guess I'm in the no camp, aren't I? Right. Oh, right. Nicholas. Um, a softer no. A softer no. It's like, a, need... like a half bar no, or like well, like softer I, in. I, I don't currently, but I'm open to the possibility of it being. Oh, for fuck's no. sake, Jack! <laughs> we literally just got told that that was a bullshit answer. <laughs> That's why I said soft no, and then everyone fucking started having go at me. Oh Jesus, Jack! Uh, I, I'm I'm I certainly do believe. I certainly do believe. Yeah. Uh, Thomas, no, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> No? No. no. That's kidding. a firm, firm that's a, no? That's a firm no. Okay. No fence in here. Jono. Ghosts. Remember, so the, of course. For, si- for simplicity, yes. Easter. Hey. <laughs> remember, go- remember, people, this is the guy who th- th- didn't believe 9-11 was an inside job. <laughs> 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 I love that Jack... Never mind. Keep going. <laughs> no, no, you want to? You want to? You want to? You want to go with that? Or let me have okay. it. Let me. Have I love it. that Jack believes in ghosts, but doesn't think that <laughs> that nine eleven nine eleven could just happen the way. It's I'm a believer, man. Don't, don't, don't. He doesn't don't conform to, what, to the mainstream. Yeah, man. Mm. Don't let the man keep you down. All right. <laughs> okay, well, we're at, a, we're, we're at an even split, which is kind of good for the podcast, I guess. There's mm. like three yeses and three noes. I'm more intrigued because I, uh, to hear the noes first. So I'm, I'd int- like to- I'm intrigued by the revelation that I would have flipped you and, and Nick, Dylan. I would have thought you would have said no, being an atheist and everything. And Nick, being having a yes, Catholic yes. background, would have had more of a belief in... The spiritual well, let's just start, realm. Let's just start at Nick. We'll explain why you, why you don't believe in ghosts. And you've- I have never really seen any concrete evidence or experienced anything myself, but I know. But people- you believe in God, and you've yeah. seen any concrete evidence. Not to start that. Ag- <laughs> no, I, no, no. I mean, <laughs> let's get this away from the yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I've never experienced anything <laughs> in relation to it, where I think I've felt. He can experience yeah. You're sort of like a see it to believe a kind of thing. Yeah. Like Stacey's yeah. told me she's seen ghosts, but I've never seen it, so... You're she's, like, she's just batshit she's crazy. She's fucking, fucking lying, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking trusted yeah. her. Yeah, yeah, I'll get a support pension, <laughs> carer's pension for her. Oh. <laughs> Does she listen back to these episodes, Nick? I hope not. Not this one. It's getting deleted <laughs> into the ether. She's oh, with that episode of Pleasure deal. Explosion go on the on the on the download list, Nick. Oh, sh- nah, <laughs> that one got lost. Yeah. Like, we didn't do it this oh, week. First Jack one we lost his audio. Lost the audio. Jack uh, lost his audio. Jack or something. Put it in the wrong, yeah. wrong file. <laughs> Fuck sake, <Hold> Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Ash, I, I fucked something else up yesterday. I'll tell you I had some later. ghost audio. Ash, why don't you believe in ghosts? Uh, same as Nick. Haven't really seen anything. I believe once you're dead, you go somewhere else. I don't think you stick around. That's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. And Thomas, yeah. in with your hard fuck no, no, fuck that. I don't well, think it goes. Yeah, no, once you're dead, you're dead as opposed to going somewhere else. So that's that's it. Mm. There's, <laughs> there's no kind of, uh, yeah, your soul or your spirit or something isn't going to gonna hang around. You, well, you, what yeah. about people who only like die for a couple of minutes? Does, does that count? You say yeah, you your soul goes straight away. Yeah, Tom, you fucking idiot. Yeah, what? You've been lawyers. <laughs> that is that is working under the assumption that th- there is a soul and that it is something that can be independent. Well, of, some of us have of a human body, <laughs> <laughs> which I don't believe there is. Interesting. 
persona. Um, <laughs> Show me your true self. I don't yeah. understand the reference. <laughs> I'm glad John was that. Yeah, no, like, <laughs> like no. Uh, again, you are welcome to prove me wrong, but until I can be proved wrong, well, I'm going to capture a ghost like a White Walker and bring it to. He's oh my definitely gosh. not a ghost. <laughs> okay, and he's he's also magical, and I don't think we believe in magic. I believe in magic. I believe in uh, in. I in believe miracles. in magic. <laughs> <laughs> Where you from? You sexy thing. No, I was uh, Wrong I was trying to say something about Penn and Teller, but it didn't quite come out. Oh, that's all right. Uh, Jono, go for <laughs> your explanation of why. I pre- I mean, straightforward answer or something more. Yeah. So ghosts, no, but spirits yeah. and demons and that that kind of spiritual warfare, a hundred percent believe in and did you say have, warfare yeah yeah definitely <laughs> haven't you watched the movies i'm intrigued which, which <laughs> movies uh, uh was it legion uh dogma i haven't seen that was that the one <laughs> yeah gabriel comes yeah, down with uh Is that? paul bettany and dennis Quaid. Yep. There you I, are, thank you. I don't believe that Jono's mention of that comes from the movies. <laughs> no, uh, no, obviously not. But I'm just saying no, you can watch a, a movie Legion about fan. spiritual warfare. <laughs> <laughs> Angels and demons fighting and shit. Yeah. All right, continue, Jono. So, uh, yeah, being a Christian and believing what's in the Bible, I certainly believe that there are spirits and things that do weird stuff sometimes, and we don't exactly know why. And I definitely have heard first-hand accounts of people who've experienced that, and I believe them, most of them. Some of them I'm, I'm not 100% sold on, but I, or I never, I'm not closed off to it. And But at the same time, I'm, I don't just believe every story I hear. So Really? Uh, but you believe a, 9-11 was how it was talked to by the, <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> the mainstream media? Yeah, yeah the there's mainstream a whole topic. media. We've done a whole like, topic on that, so we don't need to... Uh, explain really how there's no yeah. proof of anything else that Jack. 28 episodes and we end up repeating a topic in another show. Um, <laughs> can you, all right, so John, let, let me ask a qu- yeah. let I, me ask the question of if uh, so no. in your by your beliefs mm. if there's ghosts are they people that like aren't allowed in heaven or some shit like what's the yeah I I don't know I I don't think that that's I don't think that's biblical that there's people who aren't allowed. Like, I don't think believe in purgatory. I don't think it's that. Yeah. Um, and I don't believe that they're necessarily people who've lived and died. I don't really know what they are. But So can yeah. you, like, give us one of the stories that you say you yeah. believe? Do we, are these from intrigued. church? Or? Do we want to wait till... Is that one of your questions later, Dylan? Or do you want me to jump into we're, it? We're, are we? I mean... We can just do it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Okay. What do we have a structure to this show? Just tell us fucking yeah. conversational cool. podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. It's co- conversation flow as opposed to uh, sticking to strict questioning. Okay. Good I just kind of wanted Tom. to get the, the <laughs> idea of who was yeses and noes. Should have just answered the, the fucking podcast. question. <laughs> so, hey, I'm I'm not hosting. I don't want to take it in a direction Dylan doesn't want to. But anyway, so the I easiest do. the easiest way to tell some stories is to go with some that I was able to check up on recently because Hannah's got a couple of these stories, hmm. and we were talking about it yesterday because of this topic. So the first one, uh, Hannah was – her first memory, actually, was being two or three years old, or maybe she was older. She doesn't really know how old she was, but old enough to have no memories before that. And she didn't know at the time being an infant, but her parents were actually about to go and pray over one of their friends' houses that they believed was – haunted or had some kind of uh, spiritual darkness there. Presence. Yep. Yes, due to weird stuff happening or weird feelings. And at the same time that you know they were getting ready to go to this place, Hannah believes that she saw three monkeys in her bedroom looking down at her from the wall. And she was absolutely terrified. She hates monkeys to this day. <laughs> That's fucked. Yeah. That's fucking like scary. Our first date, it was like, what's your favourite animal? And I'm like, monkeys. Oh, she's no. Like, she's like, oh, we're oh. done. Yeah. She's like, you're the devil. Bye. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, she seems to vividly describe them. And, you know, whenever she sees a monkey that reminds her of those ones, she'll always, you know, mention it Kill or whatever. It. 
And um, so she's screaming, her mum comes in, and she, I guess she's old enough to explain what she saw. And it freaked her mum out because her mum felt that that was, in her mind, the, the devil or whatever you want to call it, mm. trying to dissuade her mum from going over to this house and to trying to, you know, improve yeah. that situation. So she was taking it almost as a threat. Like, if you go, I'm going to torture your daughter. And, you know, I guess they prayed about it and went and did it anyway. And Hannah never, thankfully, had that experience again. Did Hannah party when Harambe got shot? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That, that's an ape, Nick. You should know that. Oh, that's that very different. At, at this point, I'd also like to point out the uh, the two conflicting sides of Nick and Jono here. Uh, Nick says, <laughs> Stacy has some stories, but I think they're bullshit. I don't believe them. And Jono comes on and tells one of Hannah's. <laughs> I, I don't believe that they're bullshit. I don't... I don't I reckon she did see what she saw, but I don't think it's what she think it is. Mm. I don't quite understand. What it was the milkman. I might tell my next story, and then I want to hear what Stacy's story is. How convoluted is the devil that he decides, oh, I'm going to show these monkeys to this kid <laughs> to try and get the, them to st- not pray at this other place. He's a it trickster. It's like a long con. It is a long con. But he has, <laughs> you know he has minions. So wily, smart. that's a word yeah. I'd use for him. Yeah, so the se- the second story I want to tell, and like I probably like through my through my life, I've probably heard ten or so stories similar to both of these. So I, I, these were just the ones that I picked. But Hannah was volunteering at the Salvation Army for her gap year between studying and finish high school. So she worked with homeless people. She worked with. Um, drug addicts and all kinds of people in, in the inner city of Melbourne, just the needy, I suppose you could call them. And she did all this as a volunteer and they all stayed together in Burke Street at this property. And she had like a really horrific nightmare. Oh, sorry, I'll go back a little bit. Someone had donated a teddy bear to oh. Oh, what the monsters. Salvos and someone thought, oh, I'll give this to Hannah, she's homesick, she's, you know... She might she might be down this week, so I'll give her this teddy that someone donated. She doesn't like teddies. That's someone and creeping on your wife, I think you'll find, Jono. Yeah, this was before I, that we had met, but anyway. Uh, one of her one of her friends who was... It was all girls there anyway. They gave her a teddy. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> they, gave her, they gave her this teddy bear, and she's like, cool, thanks, don't like it, chucked it underneath her bed. Started having really bad nightmares, and... Hannah's friend, who is really seems to be tuned into all this kind of spiritual darkness and things, was also experiencing some weird stuff. So they got someone to come in who, uh, I guess, not prophesizes over these things, but seems to have a real discernment with with it. And that person prayed with them for a little bit, and then she asked Hannah, "Is there something that doesn't belong to you that's underneath your bed?" And Hannah's like, "There sure is. There's this creepy teddy. I hate it." And she's like, get rid of it. They got rid of it and not, the nightmares went away straight mm. away. There was also apparently a painting that had been done by a homeless person that was giving off some creepy vibes too. They got rid of that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so they're the, they were just the two stories that I wanted to tell. And I mean, I, I definitely believe that there are things that have darkness attached to them, whether it's, you know, um, someone has like... I definitely believe that there, like, uh, there's like this black magic and witchcraft and things that can have a real darkness to them, mm. and I think that that can have an effect on people. So, that's the short version. I could talk about this for quite a long time. You've never had anything, uh, no, personally. No, I've, I've been fortunate not to have experienced that, and I think like people who have been attacked in those ways, like. The ones that I know of, it's always kind of driven them to a point where they've just had to really draw on God in their relationship with God, and it's it's made them closer in the end when they fought through it. And it, it and you know you've probably seen John Saffron versus God. He got the exorcism, yeah, and mm-hmm. you know I haven't seen that kind of thing firsthand, but I've seen 
I've heard enough stories about that kind of stuff to definitely believe. If that's the question, do we believe? Yes, I do. Mm, interesting. Fair enough. All right, Nick, do you want to tell one of these Stacey stories that are bullshit? Then? I just want to start, like, when you said ghosts, my mind didn't immediately go to, like, the demonic part. Well, I like, don't... I mean, ghost is just a very broad term, yeah, that basically... Like, I, yeah. I believe in exorcism, like, uh, possession and stuff like that, but... I'd, well, that's a form of ghost. Yeah, I... I don't know. In my mind, I categorise it as something different. What poltergeist? Yeah, that kind of cuts stuff. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, one story Stacey's told me was when she was younger. She lived in this house, and she would see this old man like every night or every other night or whatever. And she described it to the people that used to own the house before him. And apparently, it was their father who lived there and died there. And she reckons he, they reckon she described him to the T. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's creepy, yeah. There's yeah. nothing, there nothing <laughs> malevolent or anything like that, but I don't know. Maybe it, she saw a photo somewhere and she was just like vivid dreams or stuff like that, but... Maybe you had a long-lost twin? Poss- possibly. You're, you're stretching the long it to lost, find uh, an answer. Uh, twin. There's a hotel in Oklahoma that the NBA players stay at when they tour through the city and they're all terrified of it because there's a, a, a baby that haunts it. And people yeah. just wake up to crying every night. Why don't I just stay God. in here with something different? There's, there's Sorry, plenty no. of hotels in Oklahoma. It's this one, yeah, I, I guess Oklahoma's not the biggest city and it's close to the arena or something. But, yeah, some players refuse to stay there. I've heard journalists go there and talk about taps turning on by themselves and hearing the same crying baby so mm. that's if you there's a lot of articles about that if you're interested hmm. all right jack dylan take the reins <laughs> we, I, I i hear you have a story to tell you have experienced some sort of hmm. yeah, activity. Paranormal I, activity. yeah i'm very much in the same vein as nick is that like have to say it to believe it and like if that gives you an indication why i believe so i've had And it's one of those things, like, I just don't, you don't talk about it because it's one of those things. You tell people that you've seen whatever you've seen. That shit crazy? Yeah, they're just looking at you like, you're either either crazy or you're lying. And so so I'm just like, yeah, I just don't talk about it. But I've had probably, I don't know, a dozen encounters with whatever they are. Don't know what they are, why they are. That's quite a lot. Yeah. And it was only like, like, I've always sort of, believed in you know quotation marks about that kind of stuff but i've always have been of the you know need to see it to believe it with aliens and stuff like that need to see it to believe it um and the first time i ever had a a uh, encounter whatever is, i remember it was at the last house we were in and this is when they started was it the last house we were in um i remember i was i was in bed and i remember because it was so weird i i like through the night, like you know, we're in bed. I remember having like a like a piece of chocolate, and I had the wrapper from the chocolate, and I chucked the wrapper on 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 the floor. Anyway, so we go to sleep, and um, about I don't know, probably like half an hour into like you know lying down, falling asleep, trying to fall asleep, whatever. I just felt like this, like had this like presence. Like, I'm like, what is this? Like, what what is this? Um, you know, there's something here, whatever. And I like I I stick my head up, and I was sort of rolled over like cuddling Sal and facing like the the doorway and I I, like lifted my head up and there was like a figure there that was like a dude and he was like shortish probably like around my height bald um but like in in like deep shadow and I was just like I was like fuck and I like I like shit myself like not literally but like I was fucking scared because I'm like holy fuck there's someone in the house and I'm like Sal Sal get up and like went to like um, like, like shook her up and like jumped up and, and was like ready to fucking go. And then it started like coming towards the bed and, um, and as it sort of got towards the bed, it just sort of vanished. And, and I'm like, it takes me like a second. Cause like, I'm in shock. Like I've woken up, there's like a dude in the room and he like walks up to the bed and then he's just gone. I'm like, what the fuck was that? Like, I was just like freaking out. And so I was like, what the hell is, sorry. sorry in what Tom? detail could you see this person? So figure. was it HD or SD? <laughs> it was. Um, so it was like I could see like the outline of the dude, and I could see like facial features. I could. I knew that I could tell that he was bald, and um, but he, it was like he was like he was enough in, to in, assume his gender. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes. I, like I could tell that he was a man. I could tell that he was an old bald, bald short man, and but he was like deep in shadow. So it was like dark as well. Sorry. Clothes, clothing. Yeah, just like normal, like shirt, whatever, pants. Um, 
And I'm and like, so I was like, what the hell? I'm like, there was someone in here. She's like, and she's like, no, there's no one in here. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then the creepy thing was like, I looked down and like the wrapper that I'd thrown on the on the ground. Because I remember throwing it on the ground and being like, that's lazy. I could get up and put it in the bin now. Fuck it. I'll deal with it in the morning. And like, and like looking down at like on the blanket and it was on the bed. And I was like, holy fuck, that was creepy. And that was the first time that I'd ever had like anything like this. And Sorry, then it Jack, happened. that was me. <laughs> we also hadn't met yet, Nick, unfortunately. Um, so this was probably like four years ago, three or four years ago. Um, and that was like the first time I was like, holy shit. And I was like shaken the next day. I was like going to work. I'm like, what the fuck? Like this creepy thing. Anyway, um, happened again. Very similar, different figure. Um, probably like a month later. And then it's happened, you know, um, very, always very similar. Always the same sort of thing. Um, like... At, in intervals um always you know. bold no no different like the second time was so the second time i like actually felt threatened like i was like um like i, I actually like the first time it was more just like it was just a person and they were sort of walking towards me it was more a shock that someone was in the house the second time it was like this person like it was like an aggressive person like the guy had like frizzy hair and like he looked angry and he was like he was not like there to be friendly like i could tell that like i felt threatened with this per- that that figure um and i like it's happened yeah similar things like that all different places different times like different houses um for the last four four or five years or whatever that it's been since it first happened um there never seems to be any kind of rhyme or reason for it or there's never any sort of thing i can always like you know, link them up as like, oh, that kind of thing was happening or I was stressed about this. It's just random, like when it happens. Um, Do you still wake Sal up? Yeah, yeah. Because like, it's like, it's a shock. Like it's a fright. Like I, it's always like, there's a person there. And mm. and like, I wake her up all the time and she, and so she, it's gone to the point now where she's like, she's just used to it. So she's like, oh, does it, guess there's something. It always, sorry? Does, does it, it always, always sorry. wake up? Uh, it's, it always wakes me up. And yeah. it's, there's been times where I haven't been asleep yet and, it, and it's happened. Like the first time it happened, I wasn't asleep. I was just lying there and I just had this feeling of like, what the fuck? And like, I, that was when I, like, I popped my head up and um, it's happened like a lot of the times it happens like when I'm like, it wakes me up or I'm about to fall asleep or I'm, I'm just lying in bed. And um, and it's so, it's, I know some people will be thinking it's not a nightmare. It's not, you're, you're yeah, uh, like, is it a hallucination? Or, yeah. That was the first thing. And that, like when it first happened, I'm like, I was sort of like I was almost half convinced that it wasn't because of like the rapper and things like that and it was so real and that's the thing like it's so real and I just this is the thing like I just don't talk about it because like, yeah, people ask me I'm like yeah I've seen ghosts or I've seen something I don't know what they are whether they're ghosts or demons or specters or like I the, the way I've sort of um, rationalized it in my own mind is that there's like different dimension dimensions or whatever there's you know there's different realms there's you know the world the realm the you know the universe that we live in and the physical touch and that and then there's things behind there's like a wall and there's something behind that wall and there's something like behind that wall and depending on whatever your, your how your brain works your spirituality your belief how how are your chemical makeup some people are more susceptible to seeing or being in touch with those things and like they and there's some people that are completely closed off to it and they're just like, they just don't see it. And then there's some people who are completely in sync with it. And that's why I think it's one of those things that, um, like if I see it, doesn't mean that you're going to see it. It might be, I'll see it and you won't see it because it's only like my perception. I can only view it. That's the sort of the way that I've rationalized it is that for whatever reason, I've got some perception that I can, you know, I'm more open to seeing like some kind of, spiritual being or whatever and i've tried to do research and stuff on it to find out what they might be and there's a lot of different things like there's lots of ways to rationalize it in that yeah it could just be a a hallucination and and it's not the sleep paralysis thing because i've read about that as well is that you know people like the sleep paralysis thing which i think you'll you'll go into dylan where you know you wake up and you feel like someone's on top of you and then you see something or that but i'm never like i'm all because i'm always when it happens i'm always like jump up out of bed or like one time i pushed sal out of bed because <laughs> like it was like coming like from like the the foot of the bed and i like pushed her out of the way um and she's what, like what the sa- fuck to save doing? her or save yourself yeah no to save her i was like sal okay. get, get up and like pushed her out of the bed and you're and a she, hero yeah, so, I so do so. these apparitions just like disappear, or do you look away and look back and they're gone? Or? No, they just vanish. Like I don't, it's not like I look away. Like as they're, you know, I guess as I'm maybe becoming more 
conscious the the they i can't view them anymore or whatever they they sort of i don't know that's sort of the way i i think about it in my head but um yeah it's creepy but like i'm used to it now um has I this guess happened you know, at the house you're in now yeah it's happened a couple of times here um Oof. not as much but um did you build your house we'll say see. again sorry <laughs> did you build Extra your life. house yeah we built it yeah so that's the thing like there's no that's what i'm like like sal's unit was just like it's just like a unit there's never been anything bad there and it's, that's it's happened in it's happened in sal the unit we're in it's happened in like i've been staying at her mum's place and it's happened it's happened at like many different places i've stayed at when i've been alone when I, most of the time it happens when i'm with sal because most of the time i'm with sal in bed um and um sometimes it's other girls in bed but <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's snoopy sometimes it's jenna um <laughs> do they yeah, do they in any way resemble people that you've killed or something Jen? <laughs> <laughs> no none of them look like the people that i've killed which is interesting because i you'd think those would be the ones that yeah, you'd say yeah, spirits. yeah um, I'd, ex- I'd expect them to be haunting you yeah no but like i mean i don't know like i don't know what they are but um the one the, the first one that happened like when i described it so i was like that sounds like my pop like my partner, like, that's kind of creepy. Um, <laughs> and the other times, it's just sort of like random dudes. They've always been guys as well. There's never been any girls. Damn so. shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. Um, and never any children, which is great because children are creepy. But yeah, so I believe, I don't talk about it unless an opportunity comes up like this. So, because people just look at you like you're a fucking crazy person. I'm like, and I understand yeah. why, because if someone came up to me and I hadn't experienced something and they're like, I saw a ghost, I'd be like, yeah, right, sure you did. Um, <laughs> yeah, good one, mate. Carry on. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I have three main ones. They're all uh, different points in my life, and they're all kind of different uh, ghostly. How many drugs stories. were you on? Uh, for all of these, zero, because most of them take place before I was even uh, partaking in the weed smoking period of my life. Um, first one happened when I was probably eight, ten, somewhere like around that age. Mm. Um, this is probably the weirdest one and I like it's very vague because it's like I was at such a young age but I woke up in the middle of the night it was you know AM something like that uh, that whole like feeling something you know like you're like something's about to happen like there's something not right you know you, it's so weird how your body can just feel off when it knows mm. something's not quite right yeah and I, my blinds were open, which is really weird. It's like, I don't know. I can't remember from when I was younger, like if mum would put me to bed and then like come back in later and like close my blinds or something really weird. It's like, well, I don't know why my blinds were open. I still don't to this day. But a figure, and I don't know how to, I was trying to think before going into the podcast as a way to describe how this thing looked because it wasn't a person. It was a a black being. It's, I, has anyone watched Samurai Jack? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the bad guy monster thing in that? Like yeah, the yeah. big black thing? Akku. That is my... Go- yeah, that's my go-to to describe this thing. Yeah, okay, that's crazy. Right, so I had something that looked like that float downwards from my roof uh, in the outside in front of my window and just float down and start staring at me. Mm. And it spoke to me and I can't remember what it said. But it did say something to me, which is fucking weird. Yep, Jono, do you want to... Every trophy counts. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It's like, every trophy Mm. counts. So, I mean, it didn't look exactly like the Samurai Jack uh, (laughs) bad guy monster, but that's what I'm saying. It's like some weird figure monster thing. Mm. Anyway, scared the fuck out of me. I I called for mum, mum came in. I'm sure she cuddled me back to sleep or something because I was trying I'm sure I was like I saw some weird freaky monster outside she was like eh, you had too much sugar yeah. tonight or like yeah. you know what I mean like <laughs> too much sugar something like that um, but even at that young age like that that's like stuck that's always that's, that's I hope, really weird I hope you were sure to not tell her that you loved her as uh, as she left <laughs> <laughs> thanks mum thanks for sending me coming in um, the second one happened when I was probably like I don't know, 15, 16 or something. I was at a friend's house. They'd left to go like to supermarket or something like that to go get stuff. And like, you just stay here back in a moment or back in a couple minutes, whatever. I'm like, no problem. And I'm sitting around in the house and now to describe this one, this is before Paranormal Activity had come out or like the year before, but to describe what happened, I'll use Paranormal Activity. I'm sitting around in this house quiet. My car's just sitting there. I think I was like doodling on my phone, something, whatever. 
and then I hear like the paranormal activity, like boom, like the whole house, like like some some giant just like whacked the side of their house with a golf, like with a club or something, like the whole house, yeah. bang, shook. I'm like, what the fuck? Like jumped up, like what the fuck? First thing I do is I run to the front door, obviously, because I'm like, did someone just like slam into the? Ca- Slow, like did, did someone crash into the yeah. house like is there a crash outside like so, like because that was like quite a force i felt it and heard it mm. run outside open look up down street nothing nothing no one's outside the door there's no cars fit quiet neighborhood there's like not busy neighborhoods there's no cars up down that's fucking weird so then i come back inside and i'm still like i'm definitely this is like 2 a this is 2 p.m in the middle of the afternoon like i'm not half asleep i'm like perfectly awake and i definitely felt and heard something just then and I'm looking for evidence. I'm like, well, is, it, is it next door? Like, so I start like walking towards the back of the house. I'm like, I'm going to go to the back door and I'm going to go like look over fences or some shit like this for an evidence. I start walking down the hallway and in the middle of the hallway, they have a, like a, a mirror, like on the one on the wall. And then has gone completely like, like 90 degree angle, mm. which it wasn't before. And that was my, like, I remember I realized this mirror, which I knew beforehand, like I knew it was, straight or straight enough that you would know it to be straight and then all of a sudden it's like gone and i remember just stopping and just being like nope <laughs> nope and i literally noped out of the house <laughs> i li- i noped the fuck out of the house i turned around i went ba- i walked outside i went and stood uh, like sat down in the driveway everyone comes back home they're like what's wrong with you dylan i'm like some fucked up shit just happened i don't know i try to explain of course everyone's like you're you're crazy, like, there's nothing wrong, blah, blah, blah. I come back in, I start pointing out evidence. I'm like, bang, house felt like it shook sideways, weird stuff. Look, mirror, sideways. Oh, yeah, but that could have just been, like, someone could have knocked it earlier. I'm like, no, I I guarantee that mirror was quite straight before, and no one's just bumping that because it's up here. Like, who's fucking walking around with their elbows up in the air? Like, that <laughs> mirror doesn't? isn't just... I'm, like, freaking out. I'm like, you are just... It's that whole thing, like, when you're trying to, exp- like, mm. you, you've got, like, three people in front of you, and everyone's just like... You're an idiot. Nah, you're, you're crazy, you're not... Yeah. Like, they're just like, no, 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 everyone... No, no. And I couldn't get anywhere. Like, I spent the whole time, I'm like, I'm fucking... The, 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 your house is like, haunted, <laughs> man. Like, you're, you're... I don't know what just happened, but that is not all right at all. It wasn't, like, an we earthquake had, or anything, was it? No. no. There was nothing. That's weird. And I had other weird experiences. I never saw anything in this house or stuff like that, but I'd quite often feel weird in that house, mm. which was my, this is my thing. I'm like, it, often I'd sleep over at that house. I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I'd just feel off. Mm. Like I'd wake up randomly in the night and just have that whole feeling of like, no. Nah, yeah, this, something ain't right. This, there's something wrong here. There's something not quite right. And I'd have that all the time I stay at this house. Although the only time something like physical or, whatever was that big bang in the, the mirror but i'd often have weird other shit happen the third time the third time actually this ha- this my last story happened before that so i would have been like 12 ish or something like that so that's so we got like eight to ten there are 12 then sort of i was staying at my nan and pop's house well it was at my nan and pop's house and uh it was on a weekend because sometimes like we'd get me and my brother would get taken down there so my parents could have like a weekend to themselves or something like that and this is the sleep paralysis one although it's it's really weird because it's like it's listening to your your story about like people jack's story about like the dude running towards him my story the way my guy acts is a lot way different like so it's it's interesting i wake up in the middle of the night have that whole weird feeling which is like the overlaying theme i think for all this it's like always that feeling. You always mm. have that odd feeling. Yeah. And I, I think I was facing the wall, like, or towards, like, where the blinds were closed in the window. And I just not have that feeling of, like, something's, like, in the doorway or, like, behind you, you know, that kind of thing. So I roll over. And in the doorway, I see a guy who I would now describe looks like, you know, in The Witcher 3. Yeah. Here we go. The Witcher 3, the guy who owns and runs the brothel place in the big city or whatever. like his name Ver- No, no, no. Like Vern mm. or something. He's like the uh, gangster dude. Deekstra. Deekstra. Right. This guy looks gotcha. uh, quite like him, which at the time, big ball, no connection. I hadn't played I hadn't yeah. played Witcher 3 yet at this point. So, but he <laughs> Witcher 1 like wasn't a thing at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Witcher 1 wasn't a thing yet. 
Uh, the books were the, the books. Bo- a thing? The books yes. would have been a thing. Yeah. Oh, I cheated. I made it up. I read all the Witcher books. <laughs> um, you had such a vivid description. <laughs> oh no, I could see this dude like spot on. He had big fat bald dude. He had, he had like a like an old timey like uh, like frilly neck thing on too. Like a I don't know what you call those. Like a neck frill. Whatever they are, you know, like a neck. Like a frilly. Bill Shakespeare kind of thing. Yeah, like a Shakespeare outfit. So the dude was like from that time period, I guess, because he had like the the tight puffy pants and the. Like, he had the full get-up on and, like, the, the shoes and everything. Like, I didn't fully, like, picture him. He's, like, from that time period, which is really weird. Because at this, at this age, I don't think I was watching anything or, like, partaking in any video games or Who's movies or TV drugs? shows. Uh, not <laughs> the fucking drugs. I wasn't, like, I hadn't t- weren't taking in any, um, like, medium where I, like, I could draw the... How old were you? Like, 12, 11, 12. Harry Potter. Nearly had Possibly. the sneak... If you want to, if you want to go, I suppose Harry Potter is like the only thing that. Yeah, but uh, no frilly necks. Yeah, oh, yeah nearly headless neck. neck yeah, no, nearly, that's it. Nearly headless necks ruined my life. Anyway, so <laughs> a rollover. So this, I, I was quite fine to move until I see this dude. It's like, it's like at the point I see this dude, uh, like the paralysis part kicks in, and I just suddenly can't move. Because as, as soon as I see him, I want to scream, obviously, like for help, like, and I, I can move my mouth. And I remember, like, moving my mouth, like, up there, like... But no words coming out. I'm trying mm. to yell, scream, like, help, uh, Nan, Pop, like, you know, anything. Just, like, yell out for help. And this dude kind of just stares me off for, like, a good 20, 30 seconds. And then just slowly starts walking over towards me. And this... It's fucked up, this whole story, because this is honestly one of the scariest things that ever happened in my life. Mm. The, the dude... So he walks towards me, and... I can, I, as he like gets on top of the bed, as he moves towards me, hands out, um, he puts his hands around my neck, like both of them, like full, like overlaying, neck grabbing, throttle position. And he like gets on top of the bed, like his knees, are, like next to the bed or something like that. Like he's not on top of me, but he's like kind of sitting next to me on the bed of water. Mm. And I like roll my body over at the same time, still like yelling, trying to attempting the yelling. And he just begins choking the fuck out of me. And like, I can feel myself. I can feel my neck like losing like circulation. Like kind of thing. Yeah, like I'm I'm going. I feel like I'm actually just gonna go. And then eventually I get out like the slightest, I hear myself make the, the slightest like little ah, like kind of noise. F- finally my body has let out some kind of noise. I can't get out like my um nan pub like help. I can't get anything, but I get out like a slow little bit of noise. And I hear off in the distance, um well, up the whole way I felt I hear like someone's a step or like a, a little noise the dude stops he like looks out the door and then he just slowly gets off and i what see this is the this is the difference between me and jack's story the big one that stood out to me is his guy just like evaporate or whatever my guy heard a noise that i heard that was mm. apparently caused by me finally being able to make noise and then he got off he walked out the door just turned left and that was i like i saw him walk out of the room and then like 10 seconds passed and then my like when comes in she's like what's wrong with you I'm like, <clears throat> I try like, once again, it's like young kid, mm. whatever. It's just like, I tell the whole story. Like she gets me up, she takes me out to the couch. I think I like cry for like an hour or something like that. It's like, here, have, have some milk strawberry and milk. Yeah, yeah, chocolate, like, chocolate yeah, biscuits. Yeah, yeah. I got like the, I got the, like the full. The milk full, is like, not going to help if you're yeah, trying to sleep. Yeah, I, I got like the full calm down. Like, but I, I mean, I'm like crying. I'm like basically dying. Mm. Why did she walk in the room? Um, she heard a noise. So she heard the little eh. I don't know if she heard the little eh or any, like, I don't know. That's yeah. the, yeah, that's the interesting was, part. That's, was, that's he making, yeah. was he making any noise? When, no. Or was he silent? His... He was silent the whole time. He never said anything to me. He never, like, made noise as he entered the room. It was just mm. like a very, he didn't make any noise. But I could see him, like, it wasn't like, oh, you'll see through anything. Like, this was a, yeah. a guy. How long so. did this affect you for? Like, mentally? Yeah, like, <laughs> did you sleep the rest of the week? Hey? Um, did you, how did you sleep after that? Horribly. Yeah. I was scared to go to sleep in that house. I didn't want to stay there anymore. I think, like, the next time, I was like, you should stay down there. I was like, I don't want to stay in Pops anymore. Mm. Or something yeah, I would like have been, that. I, I, like, fucking I don't want to... Fuck wanna that, man. <laughs> did you tell your Nan and Pop? That. Hey? Did you tell your Nan and Pop? Yeah, like I told my, of course I said like as this, like you know what what's wrong? I'm like oh the guy I choked it's like oh yeah like yeah too much sugar like, <laughs> like, <laughs> it was, 
Remember that demon guy I had like when I was 10? Oh, yeah. Your mother told back. me about that. Yeah. Too much sugar. Like, have pats on the back yeah. kind of thing. Um, so they're like my three standouts. It's interesting that you say, like, you rolled over and then you couldn't move anymore. Because I have experienced sleep paralysis, like, probably a handful of times. It wasn't and like I rolled over. It was like, as he grabbed my neck, it's like he rolled me over as he got on top of the bed kind of thing. I thought you said you were kind of awake and you rolled over and Oh, no, I rolled in. over and it was like... Once I saw him, it was like uh, he was Medusa and he like paralyzed hmm. me or something. Yeah. yeah. Medusa Old paralyzed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <The> spell. <laughs> Wingardium paralyzed. What have you experienced, Tom, as far as sleep paralysis? Oh, I, like, I, I think probably a handful of times I have experienced it, but the, no kind of like there's somebody in the room or, or anything freaky like that. It's like just waking up and you can't move or anything like that literally the only thing you can do is think mm. and it's it's pretty freaky um but like i think it happened it probably happened once or twice that i was quite scared by it um and then slowly in a in a very similar way to that you said dill like you try and talk and you try harder and harder and harder and, harder and eventually you get like a the oh, tiniest can't... noise out and, yeah. and then you're kind of kicked back into action and you're good to go. Um, yeah, and, but I, I think it's happened a couple of times where it hasn't f- even freaked me out now because I kind of <laughs> like wake up and go, instead of a, fuck, I'm broken, n- nothing's happening, what's going on? It's, oh, I know what's going on. Just take a second to relax and it goes away quite a lot quicker. Mm. Yeah, like yeah, a but, panic but, attack. yeah, kind of, kind of a, a panic attacky type thing. But it's, it's not like I'm just asleep and I'm super deep in a dream or other. And mm. yeah, yeah, never, never a, a person in the corner or something silly like that. <laughs> Anything weird like that? No. Which are three characters? Mm. <laughs> so Unfortunately, <laughs> not. I, I like that, <laughs> especially if it was like you know Kira or I was going to say Triss. Jennifer or Triss. Yeah, I like Kira. Oh well. Tress, I couldn't not say that I loved her even on my second playthrough. <laughs> um, Dylan, I, yeah. Dylan, I want to ask, like, you very vehemently denied the existence of a god, but does, mm. doesn't this kind of thing open the possibility that there are things out there that you no. haven't experienced or <laughs> don't understand? <laughs> uh, John, um, I'm not even going to let you finish your question. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, like, what's the difference so, in your head? Like, if that's something that you wouldn't have believed unless you'd experienced it, what's the difference to you? Um, I believe in. I, I don't believe in God. I mean, it's very obvious if you've listened to the podcast. I'm not. I don't believe in God or any um, any religious stuff or anything like that. But I believe in s- spiritual stuff. I always have, like ghosts and like. Uh, I don't know, like what, whatever stuff you're putting. So it's hard to describe, like what you'd, unless you would like specifically ask me, do you believe in this, this, or this, this? But a lot of stuff I do believe is just like spiritual stuff. But it doesn't have like a overlord or uh, the ghosts don't pass over. It's literally in my mind, it's just it's just, just spirits that they're just that, yeah there's no like oh they didn't make it to heaven they, but why they do they to exist hell. to you like don't what's know. their purpose don't need if, to know. if there's no like other realms that exist yeah. that just uh just don't need to know don't know <laughs> don't have the answer but that i mean that's the i mean i just find the, it interesting yeah it's interesting that mm. you're closed i don't, off to I don't one need thing, but open to the other well, no, I close. Well, I'm open because I've experienced stuff. I mean, I mm. suppose that's a big difference. I mean, if God, if God, uh, hey God, uh, it's just uh, me, Dylan, currently recording a pleasure explosion episode <laughs> twenty-eight. If you'd like to come down and make me aware of your presence, I'll change my mind on you too. But that's probably not going to happen. So that's why. But I mean, ghosts. I just explained. Like that's. I've had three, as far as I'm concerned, three three experiences with spiritual the, stuff well yeah the so, paranormal as opposed to yeah paranormal expo- yeah I suppose mm. that's the way to put it paranormal I'm very o- open to paranormal stuff I guess interesting yeah I don't know it's just uh, that is the whole like see it to believe it but some stuff some stuff I suppose you don't need to see to believe I mean when Jack before said like about aliens and put it in the same category as ghosts I was like nah like aliens exist yeah. like that's just a straight up <laughs> yes <Yeah. laughs> It's a science fact, aliens. That's a, yeah, there. I mean, we that's a, I, yeah, yet. that's what I mean. Like, if you, if you're like aliens exist, ghosts, like not same character category, because I'm like aliens exist because 
Sock yeah, I mean, like, reasons. aliens exist as in, like, they visited us, the UFOs, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, mean, nah. yeah, I, be- I believe in aliens because for scientific reasons. Yeah, yeah, like, I, be- yeah, like- I believe in, like, there's obviously life out there in the universe, but I mean, like, aliens is in, Green the UFO man. came yeah. down, abducted me, and fucking put probe up my ass. Is in, oh my like, I believe that when I see it. So, like, and stuff th- like that's, that. that's sort of what I meant when I, when I said that. I You'll I believe s- it when you experience it, Jack. Yeah, yeah. I get that pleasure explosion. <laughs> I quite like um, as we, we've talked about horror movies and stuff before but I'm quite a fan of like uh, ghost movies and stuff like that which is really weird because of course like I, I don't like when they're like they bring in the priest and all this sort of stuff I'm like hubba hubba don't the power like, of but, Christ compels yeah, all that you sort of stuff. I'm like it's all just part of the movie to me but the the, the base facts of uh, when you boil it down to just good and evil spirits that's something I can kind fuck of fuck with fuck with yeah <laughs> That's if that makes any sense, yeah. And yeah. I don't need. And the thing is, in my in the way I look at it, I don't need a full explanation. I, I never need one. I can go through all of life with never fully understanding why or how ghosts exist. So I mean, there's a movie. I can't remember the movie. There was a really interesting movie once. The movie wasn't great, but it had a really cool premise um, about like how ghosts come and like there was all these like static, and then they ended up taking over the world through like static in the air. Interesting. So that was like ghosts aren't spirits; they're like leftover remnants of people. All sorts yeah. of weird stuff. There's a lot of there's a lot of theory about that with like ghosts are that you know that because your your body has so much like electromagnetic mm-hmm. you know energy inside that it stuff, yeah. that when you know when you die when your body stops functioning like that energy has to go somewhere and that's a lot of the theory around like spirits and ghosts and that is that that that's what it is. It's it's your your body's energy is just like. It, it leaves your body because your body's no longer functioning and it just sort of like exists in, you know, the world. And then like in some aspects, in some environments, it can sort of manifest itself into that that sort of energy. Yeah. I saw an interesting show being. one day where everybody started seeing the dead people coming back, seeing all their family members at a certain time of day and then it just ended up being Cybermen coming through from another dimension. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Was that a documentary? <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the, the, uh, I, I'm pretty sure the the guy that was on there had a PhD, didn't he? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. 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 He was. He was a doctor. <laughs> Puns. The puns are glorious right now. Are you talking about sliders? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, we're talking about Doctor, <laughs> doctor, talking about doctor, a doctor Who. Doctor oh, Who. Doctor I mean, Who. if you thanks, know anything about Doctor Who, it was very, ob- it was very obvious when he said Cyberman. Uh, yeah, but- as soon as he said Cyberman. <laughs> no, no, I was like, never, okay, I know the episode you're talking I've, about. I've never watched an episode of Doctor Who in my life. Fucking sliders fake. is the much, he much didn't. superior... Mm. Uh, <laughs> television show sliders. I've never even heard of sliders, sliders. so I'm gonna have to uh, sliders was a big thing in like the, the 90s yeah, yeah like sliders two, early 2000s it's like um, sliders is the fucking jam no <laughs> I just thought of um, you know like Donnie Darko yeah mm-hmm. yes now slight spoilers well okay well fucking well I'm trying not to say about spoilers but um, by the end of Donnie Darko the, the premise of that movie kind of built around like how that movie ends up like I, I wouldn't say I believe like the idea of that movie, but I'm quite fond of the idea of that movie. If that makes sense, if you've watched Johnny Darko, <laughs> I've watched Which it is, three times and I still don't understand what happened. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, like it's yeah. it's yeah. If you've watched it, you kind of I guess you. There's a part towards the end where they, if you if you get Move boiled along. down, they they Move say along. something. They say something about like life. Uh, like it's not free will. Like you. have following a certain path kind of mm. thing. It's like, mm. yeah, it does have this kind of weird spiritual thing to it. So, anyway. For everyone that believes ahead. in ghosts here, what do you think about, like, ghost hunters and, like, the people, the oh, that and all that kind of stuff? Oh, They're fucking stupid. I don't, because that's the thing what I was speaking about before, is I don't believe that it's just like, if I see it, that means that you see it kind of thing. I think that there's certain people who, and, like, they talk about, like, you know, the portion of our brain that we actually use is quite quite minuscule and that, yeah and that if we you know people who can use certain different parts of their brain Bradley ways Cooper can, took a pill and yeah. he got uh, limitless options so, so like <laughs> in so Scarlett Johansson didn't yeah you? the Scarlett mm, Johansson yes. movie so like in my mind how it works is that there's just some people who are just more susceptible to being able to see it so uh, that's why I think those like ghost stories and shit the ghost shows and that are, are bullshit because they're just there to make a buck 
I forgot what was that? I was about to say, I think with those ghost hunting shows, you've got the smartest of some very dumb people who have managed <laughs> to figure out how this horseshit hobby of theirs can make them some money. And they're yeah. probably making more money than me because their show is like probably. syndicated on the mm. crappest of like digital TV networks. Yeah. I love the I love like my fa- one of my favorite movie franchises of the last couple of years is The Conjuring. Oh, damn fuck, so like good. I was going to say Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> because Conjuring is fucking terrifying. Just because of like the ghost hunter aspect because it's based on uh, the Warrens. It's like tr- war- yeah, the, the Warrens, Warrens which yeah. is a true story. Like now, of course people, they they uh they flare it up a bit for the movies and no one quite there's like f- not full accounts or whatever and of course all of it's like it yes, says like it's based on true story, but I mean, if it was fact, this is true story, then fuck everyone should just believe in ghosts because if all this, yeah. all, all it's this one stuff of those that things, happened, it's like they were there yeah. and experienced it, and then you go away. It's like the Amityville yeah. thing. It's like they're yeah. like this is this happened, and then they're like, you know, it didn't happen. It did happen. Yeah. It didn't happen, and then but people it is, just don't um, believe it. It's interesting when you think about it with all these stupid ghost hunter shows that are on like reality TV shows now that are so like I've watched like an episode of one once. It's, they cut to count. I'm gonna do the PhD. Oh, oh, did you see that? Like the meter move, like all this sort of stuff. And everyone's like, "Well, they're just praying on the week to get money and stuff like that." And a lot of people say that, like back in the day, that Al- the Warrens were like just the, the, the sick and yeah. the weak to to uh, basically get money. Like they were going to mentally ill people uh, who were seeing things and all sorts of stuff like that. And they actually f- go into this aspect in the the second movie, the whole aspect of being like, and they're not being haunted. They're just maybe they're just actually mentally. Mm. Sometimes it's just so, carbon monoxide levels are too high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that. Are you but, sure um, that's not the problem? Dylan yeah. Jack? <laughs> Fuck off. Well, I, <laughs> I don't know. Like all the different houses that, that I've been in when these things have happened probably have yeah, to get a gas Yeah, that makes me think that it's Jack, not the house. Yeah. Um, before we wrap up the show, I was going to do my last question though, which was that round off. I kind of just want to know everyone's favourite ghost movie, book, if you don't have one then you're boring, but movie, TV, book, show, something like the game even, Ash? You don't uh, like horror stuff so much. Obviously Ghostbusters is the first thing that comes to mind. Fair Ghostbusters enough. Ghostbusters is pretty great. Uh, I like Supernatural. I watched yeah. like the first 10 seasons that, a lot of ghosts in that. The, so sorry, the first 10 the seasons did you say? Yeah. That sounds There's like the whole they're thing. Like they're like 11 <laughs> or 12 to, seasons. Uh, yeah. I think they're it up truly to ended at 5. Year. <laughs> yeah, five was a fitting end, but it's a horrible show. But I'll let you have the the. So, I'll let you pick it. So you guys need salt and uh, <laughs> iron bars mm. and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick, um, thirteen ghosts. I really like that movie. Oh fuck that movie! That's a movie. I that certainly is that. a movie. What is that? It's um, it's the one where they're in that house it's and the, the house is haunted. Monk. Narrows yeah, it down. and they trap thirteen ghosts in this house and. Is it it's like the house of glass. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like they they trap the ghosts in the house to power. They're like trying to build like get Sounds this like new comedy. new energy. Oh, no, it's, it's a got bad the guy movie. From, but I love yeah, it. It's a bad movie, but it's good. It's good bad. Um, there's all it's these bad. different ghosts in the house that um, power the house, and but they're locked in to. Um, they're like but there's spells that lock them into like the room, so you can see them through glass and that. They're all like scary looking, and then someone fucks something up and breaks one of the seals, and they all start escaping and fucking everyone up. And the house is like clockwork, so it moves around and so like, yeah, oh my god, this it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Man, watch it. It's one of I the best on bad UMD. movies ever. UMD. <laughs> 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 it is one of the best bad movies. All right, Jack, what's your Oh, uh, the Conjuring, the the first Conjuring. conjuring? The first I, one? I, I literally pissed myself watching that movie. Well, fuck, it's scary. Like a little, <laughs> like I like I got done with that movie. I watched it like right up close to the TV, like dark, all the lights Sorry. off, like in the beanbag, surround sound headphones on, and like yeah. I, I like the took way. the headphones off after the movie, and I was like, touch my like lap. I'm like, a little bit of piss came out. <laughs> <laughs> When I, so when I say I literally pissed myself, I fucking mean it. Like, that movie made well, me piss my pants. Well, I'm looking forward to... Uh, I don't know if you saw, but a couple weeks ago, I put up a review for Annabelle Creation on this. I do. I want to watch that. But uh, that is a lot better than Conjuring 2, as far as I'm concerned. That's the, that's mm. the second best. Conjuring 1's still the best in that franchise. Yeah. Annabelle Creation. Pretty fucking, pretty fucking scary, too. Yeah. Uh, Jono, do you have a favourite ghost? No, a favorite ghost? No. Ghost, <laughs> ghost story. The Holy book. Ghost. Patrick uh, Swayze ghost. No, not really. I don't watch those kind of movies, so I can't throw well, out. Ghostbusters ho- counts. Like if you want to. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't want to just pit, steal ashes. Six but, cents. I mean, That's all right. if you can, if you, <laughs> any, if you can talk about anything with like spiritual aspects, like I love the Indiana oh. Jones movies and the way that they mm. use, uh, I guess, really, r- religion and 
um, like paranormal, like stuff yeah, like. just angels and de- demons and yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff. I guess. For what about Mara. Easter? That's a pretty good ghost story. That's a great story. <laughs> Does it count as a ghost if someone ru- is back from the dead? If they're it's not more of a zombie uh, story, no, a zombie than a ghost story. story. I think we've covered yeah. this before. Yeah, we've yeah, covered but... that at Easter. <laughs> Tom, uh, you don't watch many scary movies. So. No, well, a no, I hate scary movies. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not interested. I should probably <laughs> say Ghostbusters, else you'll rip me out. And I'm going to say Casper because that was a movie with a ghost in it that wasn't <laughs> yeah. scary. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, one, yeah. the one answer I was expecting someone to say just to be smart ass was I was expecting someone to chuck out Patrick Swayze. Oh, <laughs> oh well, well I, I already that made that joke movie. in the chat earlier in the week oh, okay. when you said the topic is ghosts and I said Patrick Swayze and then I forgot about it until now. Yeah, I fucking love that movie. Um, I just had a fantastic idea for Extra Life. We hit a certain milestone. We should have to get a Ouija board out. I think Jono will not participate. Am, He'll run 10 miles I'll down do the street. I ain't going anywhere near that, but you yeah. guys... Really? Yeah. It's a yeah. bad idea, but I'd do it. What? Yeah. what what's I, wrong with a Ouija board? You've never it's, been around. Like I've been around people. No, like no, no, I told no, you. Like, have you not friends, been listening to this yeah. podcast? At all? I've me and my, one of my friends. Years, Ouija boards years, are the me, devil's work. Me and a friend oh. years ago were like, let's do a Ouija board. And the other friend there was uh, like a the religious guy too. I've always had a weird fucking thing for having one re- re- really religious <laughs> person in all my. <laughs> you just gotta uh, feel your quota. Yeah, I gotta feel like quota. But yeah, so it was like we're gonna do a Ouija board. Him and his sister, who uh, like go to church every Sunday, like like good enough that they actually go to church. They were like, you just can't do it in the house. And we we're like, oh, come on, just let's do it in the house. They're like, no, nah, you just have to go outside, and like we're gonna build a barricade around you, and we're just gonna like lock ourselves in a room and not participate and not mm. even look. And, <laughs> and if you die, um, we're not gonna help you. So I, I feel like, like I <laughs> fundamentally misunderstand what a Ouija board's all about. No, I think well, you're fundamentally get, un- misunderstanding what a Ouija board's all about. People get scared of the the because the idea is that like if you attract a spirit, like if by doing Ouija boards you invite the spirits. Yeah, like, are they bad ones? World? Yeah, there are like, bad. So, ones. Yeah, so yeah, so it's like, house. A, we get to leave. Could, it's to talk to people who are dead and, and crap like yeah, that. Uh, which, but, yeah, but yeah, yeah, the, the reason people don't like doing it is because it's the whole the whole rule with spirits is doing stuff like that lets them latch onto something in the real world, which then lets them possibly cross over yeah. and then start haunting you and stuff like that. So oh, I changed okay. my mind. I changed that my mind. That sounds entirely made up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do it anymore, Jack. I don't think no, you want to invite any of that. Uh, I just figured, like, my son's in this house. I don't, I don't need to do that. <laughs> you don't yeah. want to, well, you turns don't... out I'm bringing a Ouija board, so... <laughs> <laughs> a one man uh, Ouija board maybe we can try and talk to uh, Sal's pop or whatever it was that was in the door the first time uh, no I'd rather not <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite I think my the scariest ghost sorry to me is still is my my scariest movie I've ever watched is 1408 and that is also my answer for oh, my yeah. favorite ghost isn't that oh, a I'm Stephen sure King that one S- Stephen King can fuck off. I hate him so much because for creating that terrible movie, which haunts me to this day. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm quite I'm quite a fan of the first Paranormal Activity. I'm like a legit fan. Like the rest of those movies are terrible, mm. pretty much. Have the first one when I watched it. Holy fuck! Yeah. Like before before that 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 style of making those movies was. It, those was are the, those are the situations there. where you do not want to get like a Ouija board out. Yeah, yeah. You, you, I watch that movie. If someone's like, "Let's do a Ouija board straight after the movie," I would be like, "No, I'm no fuck off that." The bed, bye. I need to just <laughs> bye. But uh, no, fourteen oh wait is still my go to because that is such a uh, such a. Is that John movie. Cusack? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. I've been meaning it's to a watch repo- that. It's a, he's a writer. Samuel he's Jackson, maybe. He is. He's Samuel like Jackson works at the hotel. Hotel manager. Yeah. Yeah. Don't spoil uh, it. John Cusack is a writer who does. Look at the ghost, ghosts. motherfucker. Interesting, interesting movie for the, the topic because he's a writer who doesn't believe in ghosts, but he writes about ghosts. We've spoken like about haunted, this before. He, yeah, I, he write, uh, writes about haunted places, but he doesn't believe in them. So he goes to the place. He's like, fourteen year old, haunted." He's like, "Yeah, whatever, man. No, it's no problem." Is that he on Netflix? I might watch room. it tonight. It's probably no fucking. You're good. He um, he enters the place and he ends up staying in the hotel room, which is fourteen year old, and he gets haunted by spirits in this hotel room, and it's really messed up. And it, it's a, it's not. Gory. It doesn't have like your typical ghost. It's more of like a. Don't spoil it. I want to watch it. It's like Silent Hill. The room. No one cares. Stuff like that. So. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I don't remember it being that bad. I watched it. I, I know. I, I've talked. I've spoken to people who've been like, I thought the movie was shit, Dylan, and it didn't even scare me. So it just for some reason it. No, it's not on. I don't um, know if it's because gotcha. of like what I experienced, like because stuff like that. I don't know, but it just like it 
fucked me up for it life. It doesn't look There's like a, it's on Netflix. I remember the first time I watched it, I like pulling the covers over my face. Like, I can't even handle this right now. Anyway, if you'd like to be haunted by the, the ghosts of the Explosion Network, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at ExplosionPod and head over to ExplosionNetwork.com for all the, the great content we do. And don't forget Double Double Take. I know this is going to be in a promo at the end of every episode from now until we actually do it but once again just to cover yes extra life explosion never to come slash extra life when is it did we say that november, november 4 i said that yeah four okay good uh so <laughs> ghost three out of six believe three out of six don't believe cool still don't believe kieran's Wait, a tiebreaker him. we didn't we yeah we should ask him actually after this uh you should uh tweet at him at your tweet. boy ringo Tweet at your boy. Do you Ringo. believe in ghosts? Just, just no. Just, just tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe I don't know how you. I don't know how you write that audible noise. Like, John, I had you. Or, just make how it. Do you, a, how do you write? You'd have to have a few capital O's and a few lowercase O's, and then back again. Thank you for. Is it just like recording in B three? Just, just sending the noise. Ashley, is, where can the people find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ashley Hopley A S H L E Y H O B L E Y. If the dead yeah. want to slide into my DMs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's getting desperate, people. <laughs> Nick. Uh, you can contact me by seance. And also, <laughs> 13 Ghosts is on Netflix, so go and watch it. Jack. Uh, you can find me at cruisy underscore matter and have a funny quip for you, unfortunately. Oh, that's unfortunate. John, I cover his funny quip. Uh, I'll pray for you all. Uh, you can find me on Twitter <laughs> at Johnny himself. <laughs> I would hope that you already do, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> After every time we record a podcast, he just turns, like, as soon as he gets off, he just turns around and prays. Why do you think he goes to church? <laughs> please, please, God, they don't know what they're doing. Like, <laughs> really deep down, they're all good guys. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't know. Tom, where can people find you? Uh, is there a legitimate ghost emoji? Or... Yeah, there yeah, is. It's, it's there is. Uh, it's like the white sheet kind of ghost with his tongue <laughs> yeah. sticking out. Oh, yeah. so, so, oh, I can only have the one with the, the tongue sticking out? Yes. I think so. Oh, okay, well, Sorry. I'm going to have to use him. Uh, I, I think, I think the, egg, the correct answer is Tom DeBom89. <laughs> T-O-M-D-A-B-O-M-8-9. Except Everywhere except Snapchat. Snapchat. Oh, I was about to say, please don't forget, because <laughs> it, it was like for the first couple of weeks, it was like, it was just saying it, but now it is literally every time. It's just the the, the cut, like, the, don't. Snapchat. It's the joke. And it's the shtick. You can follow me on Twitter at Viva Ladil, V I V A L A D I L. You can tweet at me your lovely ghost stories about how yes. listening to us tell ghost stories scared you. I'd be really, I really actually kind of hope that listening to like me or Jack like tell a story is like kind of freak someone out. That would be, make me quite happy. I, dad, I, I reckon out. everyone's probably just listening going, these guys are full of shit. <laughs> well, uh, it's it's either one or the other. Yeah, because it's it's like that it's like that Twitter article, like the one that kicked it off. Like, I'm uh, reading that freaked me the fuck out. Yeah, because I'm like, yep, I buy it. If he's yep. not lying, like I could I could buy it. Um, yep. If he's lying, creepy still freak me the fuck out. So I don't care. We didn't really discuss it at length, but I think we don't need to. Shit. Really, we don't need to. Yeah. Surprise! Yeah, I don't I don't care. <laughs> Thank you for listening, everyone. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. With the Polaroids, how do you make it go stay black? Is that Photoshop, do you reckon? That's racist, Ashley. Friendly Neighbourhood Ad Reed Dillon here. On November 4th, the Explosion Network will be taking part in Extra Life, playing and streaming 24 hours of games to raise money for the Sick Kids International Hospital in Toronto. The crew will be together under one roof doing ridiculous challenges each time we hit a fundraising milestone, and it's all for the kids. So come help out. Head over to explosionnetwork.com slash extra life for all the details, times, and suggest any challenges goals or games you'd like to see us play watch our extra life video it's up on youtube twitter facebook share it on your own social media don't forget to hit that like button and get the word around so we can help raise some good dollars and see us do some ridiculous stuff don't forget our weekly podcasts pleasure explosion on monday platinum explosion on tuesdays and grandstand gurus goes up every thursday and they all go live at 12 p.m australian eastern standard time plat plat uh yeah i think he's the, the Polaroids probably has something to do with the flash um, in the room, not actually catching any of the light there, B- bouncing off the wall first, and you can't see through the door. I bet you can do that all over the place. Cats are fucking stupid animals. Le- just, you shouldn't have them in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> That's his defense. It's everything. Scientific fact, scientific fact. Like, this is the reason Photoshop. Cats are stupid. <laughs> <laughs>